are they going to sleep with us now? So it's just after a rain. We had a rain yesterday. This uh, eight foot pond, sorry, this eight foot deep pond was half empty. And we've managed to concentrate the rain into it using the swales. So I'm pretty happy about that. Our swales, uh, the first time it rained this spring, went completely empty immediately. And I was worried that uh, they weren't going to be doing what they were supposed to be doing. But it uh, turns out now the soil is somewhat saturated. And uh, now it's holding water and slowly releasing it into the mounds behind them, the berms behind them. <laughs> the dogs are making a mess over there. This swale is a little further up the hill, completely dry already. So they are, I guess, slowly releasing moisture into the soil. There's uh, almost the top of the hill. This one we mulched, so that's probably helping it retain moisture a little bit longer. This one here is the very top of the hill. Still holding moisture. Uh, the mulch is definitely helping there, but I'm very happy with that. <clears throat> Hello, Amber. Hey. And on the other side of the road, access road, we have these other swales. Uh, still moist, but uh, not holding standing water um, in the second day here. So uh, obviously this side here is draining much quicker than uh, this side, just on the opposite side of me here.